Hey, what's up guys? Hope you are having a lovely Labor Day. I'm filming, filming this over the weekend. You guys will be seeing this on Monday. Hope you're relaxing, spending some time, enjoying with family and friends. I just got to thinking. I wanted to thank everybody for being here. If you're a subscriber, thank you. If you're not, click that subscribe button. It does not cost you a nickel. Give the video a thumbs up. All my information is down below. Thank you guys for the orders. I have two golf products. Uh, the links are down below if you want to check those out. Not sponsored, not affiliate. These are my products. Two golf products. Every golfer needs a ball mark divot repair tool with a magnetic ball marker. Switchblade style. Check it out. DivotDR.com. DivotDoctor.com. 15% off code down below. Not going to stick around too much longer. Also, winter will be upon us pretty soon. In the colder climates, when you can't, can't get out to the golf course, check out PressurePutting.com. Excellent indoor uh, putting training aids. So check those out. And we'll get into today's video. I was just thinking to myself, had a nice relaxing uh, weekend thus far with my lady. And I thought, oh, Labor Day. Last holiday here in the States uh, before the big election coming up in November. And, you know, I don't want to get too political here on these golf videos, but... If you, you've known somebody long enough for a couple of years, like I have, who grew up in the USSR in the 80s, uh, let's just hope this election uh, goes a certain way. And, you know, people can do whatever they want, believe, say, whatever they want, right? As long as they're not harming anybody else. Um, but let's just hope this, uh, if you catch my drift, where this uh, election is turning out. Because for those people who, like my girlfriend, who grew up in the USSR, in the 80s when something gets taken away from you guys it's very hard that it comes um, is allowed back so think about that and we'll get into today's video I have no notes but I'm gonna keep the video short we're just gonna talk about chipping so I'm gonna change the uh, camera angle right over to the net and uh, I'll share a few tips about chipping near the green or should I say you know under a hundred yards or so so stay tuned thanks again All right, and we are back. Also, guys, click that bell notification. I got some emails from you guys. My email is down below in the video description. Getting emails, you know, uh, comments when people post comments and they click that notification, they're getting unsubscribe, unnotified, etc., etc. And I have to approve a lot of these comments that come through. So just uh, be patient. We're going to start out with a few tips with over my 30 years of golf experience, guys. When you're, this is just what I do, and I'm a decent golfer, ditch the glove when you're, try it. If you haven't tried it, just try it. Ditch the glove when you're, I do it when I'm within about 50 yards of the green. Um, I don't wear the glove. Gives you a little better sense of feel, and we all know golf is a game of feel. So I'm going to start out here, guys, with the old trusty 60 degree Titleist Vokey lob wedge that I've had a long time. Maybe time for a new one because I think the grooves are about getting worn out. But here's another tip. If you're new to golf, even if you've been playing, let's say, a year or so, don't buy a lob wedge. You don't need it in your bag. Save room for something else like a rescue or a hybrid or a five wood, a seven wood, something like that. It takes some skill and experience to get used to to chipping with these but once you do it takes a lot of practice then it is a weapon um, around the green I use my 60 depending on the circumstances and sorry I don't have a microphone so hopefully you guys can hear me comment below if you can hear me okay um, 60 degree I primarily use this under 100 yards I'd like to not take a full swing with it at 100 because it has a lot of backspin so then I'll take my 56, my sandwich, but anytime within there, you know, you got to hoist it up high over a bunker, over water, uh, lob wedge is the way to go. So you'll see, as I said in prior videos, golf is all about feel and tempo. No herky, herky jerky, you know, quick back, quick through or slow. I see this a lot too. Slow back swing, hurry up and hit it. And most often you'll hit it right here on the bottom of the club. So, let's just say I got, and I have no notes, guys, just just going here. Hopefully not rambling too much. Let's say I got a 40-yard chip shot. 
just narrow, narrow your stance in. I know you can't see my feet, but they are less than shoulder width, okay? <clears throat> you see that start with the big muscles. I used to, years ago, start my, especially chipping and full swing, I'd start my backswing with my wrist. And that's okay, but it's not great. You want to start everything keeping, if you've seen my prior videos, move these big muscles first, okay? And then your wrist can hinge at the top. And even on short shots, guys, the uh, there is some wrist play, but you, you'd rather have, I'll give you another tip, you'd rather have your hands a little bit ahead at impact, not way ahead at impact, because then you're just going to dig into the earth. Might as well have a backhoe or a shovel. Um, slightly ahead, okay? Now, go to a different club. Um, I revived an old trusty sand wedge of mine. I had to retire one a couple weeks ago. An old uh, Cleveland 588 uh, 56. And I'll get into a video this winter when I'm indoors, if it's snowing a lot out here, about lead tape. Old school, but a good trick. Comment below, do you use lead tape? But I will do a video on a snowy day when I'm stuck inside, and I'll talk about lead tape. Kind of a forgotten art in the in the golf swing. So, sand wedge is for those shots where maybe the lie's a little squirrely and I'm not confident in the lob wedge. Let's say if I got a 50 yard shot, an 80 yard shot. I hit this full about 110 yards, okay. Up here at elevation where I live, it goes about 125 but I don't like you never want to go really max out on your wedges okay that's not really the point you more often than not if you're a good player with decent speed you're gonna to get too much backspin and all depends on the why too you have to evaluate that too but you'll get a little lower trajectory less spin and I found with the bounce on the sand wedge what it's designed for it's wider than uh, you know, your lob, certain lob wedges, things like that. And this is an old school forge blade. I know Cleveland has new wedges out with, you know, big sole, cavity back, lots of forgiveness. But anyhow, what I really wanted to share with you guys is very underrated, but I know many players who chip like on the fringe, you know, of the green or even shoot. If you have no obstacles in front of you uh, at 100 yards, and let's say you hit your, you're not confident in your wedges, hit, take a half swing, eight iron guys, take a half, take a half swing seven iron from 100 yards if you have to. Okay, that's how you build. Uh, you'll get more confidence too. You'll start building that ball striking, hitting it in the center of the face more often. That will lead to okay, I feel more confident hitting my lob wedge, hitting my sand wedge, hitting my gap wedge. Um, but I'll take my seven iron here, and I see many guys, and, and women for that matter, chip off the fringe, use your seven iron. Heck guys, use a rescue club, use a five wood, use a hybrid, right? It's not gonna hurt you, you're gonna get more forgiveness, much shorter backswing too. See, if let's say I got a short chip shot with my lob wedge, I gotta take it back here, okay? I got my seven iron, I gotta take it back right here. So, much more, uh, uh, less margin for error, so to say. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great, relaxing rest of your Monday afternoon and evening, and have a great week. Stay tuned for the next video, and smile at somebody. It doesn't cost you a nickel. People are struggling out there, so be nice, be kind. Hit them straight, and don't forget to have fun playing golf, okay? Adios.